guys are getting hungry. Let's go. A Zeka beef ribs. You got to go to Kalama Beach Park in Kihei. It's the best place to go and a beautiful view. Today we're going to cook on Kiave hardwood charcoal. What's great about this charcoal is it's nice and hard, it's going to burn real fast, and it's going to burn real hot. Just like the lump oak charcoal that we get from Best of the West, the Kiava wood burns very fast and very hot. This is what the locals use, and it's going to make our meat taste great. You probably can't get Kiave wood where you are. So I recommend Best of the West 100% Lump Mesquite Charcoal. Pele in Maui would approve. So the most important ingredient in the Zeka ribs, of course, is Brian Ezeka's Hawaiian sauce. And this stuff is fantastic. It has lots of onions and ginger, garlic and soy, and of course, pure cane sugar, and some of Brian's secret ingredients. You want to use this liberally. And you can get it, of course, at ezekasauce.com. Now when you get to Maui, you're going to want to stop over at Costco and pick up some meat. See Steven in the butcher shop, he'll help you out. And what we're going to get are beef short ribs flank and cut. And instead of cutting the ribs lengthwise or parallel to the bone, they actually cut them across the bone. And that's called a flank and cut or typically a Hawaiian cut or sometimes called a Korean cut. And you want to get it cut about maybe a half inch thick. This is a little more than that, but these are going to be perfect. We're going to marinate these guys and they're going to be great. So the night before you go to the beach, you're gonna to wanna to marinate your ribs completely overnight. But if you're like me, you can always wait until the same day and let them marinate for four to six hours, that will be fine. So grab your ribs, throw them in a, a bowl. You know me, I always like to use stainless. We got some mozaica sauce here, pour on top. Oh man, I can already smell that, that smells great. You can really smell all the soy in that. I want you to mix them in here really good. Now I've just got a couple here, but typically you'll probably do four or five slabs. Put it in a Ziploc bag and pour the rest of the sauce into the bag. And pour the rest of the sauce into the bag. Now while your ribs are in the refrigerator overnight, every once in a while go in and kind of massage the bag a little bit. That way you can get the marinade completely covering all the pieces of the meat. Being the crack barbecue investigator that I am, I wanted to find out, is Brian Ezeka's Hawaiian sauce the same sauce that was used at the original Ezeka Rib Shack in Kihei, Maui? So this is what I discovered. The Ezeka Rib Shack operated for over 50 years in Kihei, Maui, and they could prepare up to 2,000 pounds of ribs a day. The Rib Shack is now an ace hardware in the popular Ezeka marketplace. Brian Ezeka is a family relative and his sauce does not have the same ingredients as the original sauce, but it is inspired by the original recipe. I gave some samples to some local surfers and they said the taste and flavor brought back some wonderful memories. My conclusion, this Hawaiian sauce is not the same as the original, but has a terrific taste and flavor that I think any Haole or Hawaiian will love. All right, here we go. We have a super hot grill here. Holy smokes, is that thing burning? got our Zeka ribs coming on baby look at these guys don't those look good now what I want you to remember is there's so much sugar on these ribs in this marinade that it's gonna caramelize real quickly so you got to keep an eye on them and turn them re frequently so it doesn't get caramelized and burn okay looks like we're ready to turn them over do them one at a time here oh look at that guy oh that is perfect I love it ah this is gonna be wonderful stuff here. A Little bit of the, the burn spots on them, that's great. And you can hear them sizzle. This is a really hot grill. It doesn't take very long to cook these guys, uh, depending upon how hot your grill is, but you do wanna make sure they're cooked all the way through. One of the ways I can test the meat to see if it's done is I'll use my fork and press it in a little bit. See how it's kind of giving right there? That's kind of nice. That's showing me that we're getting a little closer to being done on those guys. Okay, I'm feeling like this guy's, in, oh, this guy's in perfect shape there. This guy, look at that, looking good. So there we got it, Zeka beef ribs with Brian Zeka's Hawaiian sauce. Outstanding, these look great. 
that off some. Oh, look at that, is that like right on or what? What would be better with a beef rib than Hawaii's original beer primo? Oh, that's great. You know what I'm thinking. Ding dong. Aloha. Cook him, Dano.